on one of the things that you probably read about was the four person NASA SpaceX Crew 11. They returned to Earth early. Um, so a lot of people are trying to figure out exactly what's going on. One of our favorite people, Sarah Allegra is on that this afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Hi, Jen. Good afternoon to you as well. And this is quite a historic splashdown, too. If we're looking at the 25-year history of the International Space Station, I mean, we've never had a medical evacuation ever. And that all started yesterday, at least that 10-hour trek from the undocking of the ISS here to splashing down just off the coast here of sunny San Diego, California, albeit at the time it was nice, dark and early, but great weather conditions for a very nice splashdown here. Uh, but now all of the focus. Now all the attention shifts to the astronaut in need. We have very little information as to who that may be, what they're dealing with, but we know the resources for the proper medical help right here on Earth. Space flight will always carry some degree of uncertainty. That is the nature of exploration. Fundamentally, it's why we're in space to learn. It's why NASA prepares for the unexpected, so we are ready to respond decisively and safely. The successful return of Crew 11 is a direct result of that preparation. So Crew 11 is made up of NASA astronauts Mike Fink, Zena Cardman, along with Japanese astronaut Kimya Yui and Russian cosmonaut Oleg Platonov. NASA says this was not an emergency evacuation. The astronaut is stable. And as you can begin to see some of the crew coming out of the capsule, they seem to be in relatively good spirits. Uh, but NASA is not sharing who the astronaut is, of course, for privacy reasons. The signs to cut that mission short, that all came last week after NASA canceled that first spacewalk of 2026. NASA says this was a precaution and the best way to get that full checkup is right here on the ground. We should have had a medical evacuation approximately every three years in that 25 year history and we've not had one to date. And even in this case, we're erring on the side of caution. So Crew 11 undocked yesterday afternoon in that same SpaceX Dragon capsule that brought them to the ISS back in August. Those thrusters fired off early this morning, slowing that capsule before splashdown here off the SoCal coast around 1 a.m. local time, 4 a.m. Eastern. The crew was then flown by a helicopter to shore after medical checks on the recovery ship. And you could see some of the crew uh, getting lassoed in that capsule right on the the ship there. Uh, now, though, off to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, and that's where that full scale recovery will begin underway. Yes, for all four astronauts, but especially for the one in need of that medical care, as for mentioned. Uh, but when we're looking at Crew 11, now that they're back here on Earth, well, for the International Space Station, they are understaffed. There was seven aboard. Now there are only four, uh, but that's all going to change relatively soon in about a month from today. Come February 15th, Crew 12 is set to launch per NASA, uh, but happy to report NASA is saying everyone on the ground is doing safe and sound. Uh, they are aboard uh, that flight to NASA's Johnson Space Center and hopefully getting the medical care needed. Jen. And thank you so much. I just have a question because I have these kinds of questions. They keep saying that the astronaut involved is in stable condition. That's typically a word that they use when someone's been injured. You know, they're taken to the hospital, they're in stable condition. And no one is really talking about the fact that the other astronauts might have gotten sick because of the person. Again, this is just me kind of going through the weeds a little bit. Do we have any idea if it's a true illness versus an injury with this astronaut that was involved? Well, Jen, that's your job. I love the questions. Keep them coming. Uh, but NASA hasn't disclosed that. They're saying it's just due to a medical condition, essentially. And so they've had to kind of assess the situation and see what's going to be best for that crew member on board. And if you all go up there, you all come down together. And that's what we're seeing here. But there's a lot of speculation as to are we talking about an illness here? I mean, I can't imagine being on a plane feeling sick. We've all been there uh, to being up in the International Space Station feeling that way or like you said, are we talking about an injury here? What's really the story? But what I can tell you is NASA said they're going to provide an update and hopefully giving us, you, me, uh, and our audience some more clarity as to what exactly happened there at the International Space Station, how that astronaut is doing, along with the other astronauts on board when we're looking at this team in very close quarters up there. All right. So you two and a lot of the other people are asking the same questions. I like it. Um, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate the update.